The provincial council elections in the eastern districts of Batiklo, Trincomalee and Ampara came to an end with the government securing 20 seats, 15 going to the UNP-SLMC alliance and one each to the TDNA and the JVP. The people of Kartankudi in the Batiklo district celebrate the victory of SLMC dissident MP Emile in his bill. But it is a victory that is overshadowed to some extent by conflict over the heavily contested post of Chief Minister. Also in the running is TMDP leader Sivanesa Ture Chandrakanta, or Pillian, who secured the highest number of votes. The TMDP and the government have been accused by the UNP and SLMC of election violence and vote rigging. At a press conference in Colombo, the Centre for Monitoring Election Violence brought to public notice the nature and extent of violations during the East Provincial Council elections of May 10, 2008. Let me just say that as an organization, the Centre for Monitoring of Election Violence is deeply concerned at the way in which this election was conducted. We do strongly feel that the level of violence and malpractice affected the ultimate result. It is really sad that in Sri Lanka we move from one bad election to another. With the experience of monitoring elections in Sri Lanka since 1997, the Centre for Monitoring Election Violence mobilised over 300 stationary monitors and nearly 50 mobile teams for the Provincial Council elections of May 2008. 64 incidents were reported by these teams of which 48 are classified as major and 16 as minor offences. एहिदी देख कर नारकमत आत्वे तमाई चंदमाद्यास्थाने इधरी पीट इन्दर के नम्मा अतेथी न तीन त माकमिंग मोटरसाइकल वाले फैमिली ने पीरिस लबादे न चंद कार्ड अलगे न सामान्य आउटडू पहलवे दासे वितर पेनुमती न पीरिमिला माई पवा चंद दान न्यानवा अपने निरीक्षण यान पुलांगुना आई थिंक it is tremendously important to underline this. If you remember, when the 17th Amendment was introduced, one of the principal reasons why it was introduced was precisely because of election violence and malpractice. It is because there was a civil society cry with regard to what happened in Wamba and in subsequent elections that the whole argument for something like a 17th Amendment came about. So it served as a kind of catalyst. And it's a great shame, therefore, that the failure or unwillingness to implement the 17th Amendment as intended, in effect, an intentional violation of the Constitution continues to compromise the integrity of the electoral process, which is, after all, the most basic mechanism of choice and change in any functioning democracy. <laughs>